and we're back get it like a bread heavy chat red nation in the cut what's good with y'all what's good with y'all so welcome to episode two or part two or whatever the hell i'm gonna call it for this series of my gm for 2k22 okay uh see what triple h is talking about last week we did really really good with the ratings and with everything that was going on uh i was quite content with coming in first and knocking out grid ratings and creating a great show so i just want to continue that effort and continue to dominate being the top brand let's get right into it triple h congratulations on a solid debut show first in the ratings is quite the feat yeah we did kill it there was never a doubt in my mind the superstars did this they're amazing yeah let's, let's, let's get their ass make sure to watch your superstar stamina level as well keep in mind that you don't have the out to outdo the other brands every single week. A big part of the job is building towards a killer pay-per-view. Those, the, those are where the biggest wins can be made. So pace yourself. Build rivalries and don't burn your top, your top stars out. Make sure they can take part in your most important show. Okay. Orton versus Reigns. It's, an okay, it's okay to match up Rule Breaker against each other or to have a, con a contest between fan favorites. <coughs> Just be aware that your audience will always respond best to Rule Breakers against the fan favorites. Yeah, I know that. Sometimes you have to put matches... That's stray away from the formula, but remember is remember that it's a formula for a good reason. You got it. So last week, if if you guys don't remember from the last video, it was more aimed towards trying to book as many people as possible and try to make variations of shows. Um, so that was cool. So this week though, we're doing some call outs. <laughs> Alright? So T Bar will be getting called out by a cruiser. Let me see, let me see. Uh do I not have any other cruisers on standby? That is interesting. I, I overplayed my hand, I think, because I don't have another cruiser. Um, I have the budget to pick up another one um, from free agency, so we'll probably just do that. Let's take a look. Okay, so Rey Mysterio is there. You can hire him permanently. Can't afford him, though. I need a cruiser, though. A face cruiser, if possible. Uh, he's a cruiser, but he's a heel. We can turn him face, though. We can turn him face. Brute force. He, he's not very popular, but I mean, we could. Uh, so many heels in free agency right now. It's not even funny. Let's go look to see if we have any cruises. Andre the Giant is in here. We found ourselves another Giant at 25K for five weeks. I may pick that up immediately. That may be good. <clears throat> that may be really, really good. Um, Xbox is here. I wanted China on like a permanent basis, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, damn. Oh, Eddie Guevara. 60K for Eddie. Sign that immediately. Sign it immediately. I have an idea. So Eddie Guevara will do a call out to T-Bar. Because T-Bar doesn't have a rivalry building in right now. So Eddie Guevara will call out T. He will be calling out T-Bar. We miss you, Eddie. All right. And then opening matchup. Opening matchup will be a one-on-one -on -one match. It will, it will be for the title. Right? Because Sasha called out. I believe it was Sasha. And yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the, what's the general? Have at least one Extreme Rules match this week. Okay, awesome. So... It will be for the title, and it will be an Extreme Rules match. So we can meet that criteria and goal. Now, for the mid-card. Mid-card's going to be cool. Bringing the tag team back, right? Between Jimmy and Jay. Oh, they automatically did it. I like that. Okay. Versus Braun Strong Strowman, right? And T-Bar, but it's not going to be T-Bar again. T-Bar got other shit he got to do. So we're going to bring in Slapjack. That's excellent. That way we can increase Slapjack's ratings. Um, and this will be a tables match. Just so we have some diversity. Now we're going to do some advertising again. Where is Bret Hart? He did it last week. He's going to do it again this week. Um, just advertising and putting on a great fucking show for us. Now for the main event. For the main event this week. is going to be Roman Reigns. And Randy Orton again building up that rivalry but this time around it's gonna be gm interference i 
on. Nah, nah, I don't think it's needed. They already have one rivalry. Let them fight it out again. On And it won't be normal. We'll put them in a Hell in a Cell match. We'll, waste, we'll, we'll blow a little bit of the budget, right? Have them really just go at it in a cage. Because what I'm what I'm thinking about, like it takes a lot of stamina for that actually. This is very high. They'll be really tired, but I'll give them a rest next week. That's how we'll do it. All right, and then we just gonna blow the bag, blow the bag this week. We're gonna blow the whole bag this week. But don't worry, we're gonna use we're going to be using some cool stuff, um, like this for example. Title matches book for this week will receive a large match rating bonus. Um, raise the popularity as a superstar by twenty. Of your lowest i believe that's for slapjack slapjack is truly becoming cool add one week to a free agency or a legends contract duration we'll save that for now um we have a title match happening to a top spot we'll cover 18 more stamina this week this will be busy for the weekend unable to be booked for the week show we'll save that superstar training uh train one of your emerging talent stars to become a permanent senior superstar for your brand i don't know what that does we'll save that for now though all right this looks solid but we blew a bag so we're gonna have to make sure that we have the funding to actually maintain this okay time to simulate let's take a look at what's happening here so charlotte versus sasha i feel like this is going to be great it's a title match sasha is probably going to lose that's exactly what i thought in the extreme rules match charlotte is a beast you know what I'm saying? But it builds that rivalry between those two, which I enjoy. It was a great showing. Eddie Guevara calls out T-Bar. This is going to spark up some interest. All right, this was good ratings and the rivalry built. All right, now back at it again. The Uso, the Uso cousins or brothers or twins or whatever. They're, they're at it again and they're going to fight Braun Strowman again and Slapjack. Slapjack is a rising star, man. He really, he really doing shit. But Jimmy, Jimmy and Jay said they're not having it. They said they're not having it. They said they're not winning. Uh, they're not. They're not. They're not. They're not gonna lose that. All right. So advertising. Brett the Hitman Hart. He's gonna advertise again. He's great at these promos. Promo effect minus two, but it's thirteen thousand. Bringing in the money. And then another main event with Roman Reigns and Randy Orton. Right. They going at it again in a Hell in a Cell match. And this time Roman Reigns wins this. All right. It was okay. It was okay. Right. But we're just we're just saving it. They didn't even book anything this week. Oh, is it because of their budget? It's probably because of their budget. Let's see what they got going on. That they didn't, they didn't they didn't use their side promos because they broke. They spent too much of a bag during the draft and they didn't make it back last week. And <laughs> how bad? They ain't managed that money correctly. Oh yeah, they're suffering. They're suffering. This was a blowout this week. This was a freaking blowout. Did good with their women's championship belt though, but we we dominated. We dominated this week. Uh, rivalries, no injuries this week. We did really really well. Um, let's take a look here. We are at eighty four thousand fans. Really good for revenue. We made two thousand, so we spent a lot, but we made it all back and plus two grand, so that wasn't too bad. Um, injury rehab, we gained a new card. Um, let's see how they did. Seventy three thousand. They made 10 grand, so they're finally getting their money back into their pockets. And that is it. They think they're on to something, but they are not. T-Bar T -bar is building that rivalry with Eddie Guerrero. Charlotte just beat Sasha ass. And I don't know what the hell Raw are doing. They out here getting swindled. But as you can see, Red Nation is on top. NXT on top. And we're not done here. We're going to continue on in the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this, hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new and smash that notification bell to make sure that you're staying up to date with Red. This has been your boy Red, man. Stay up, stay blessed, stay toxic.